question. What's the biggest difference between a car built 10 years ago and a car built today? What's up guys, it's Eric with Monday Family Man and on this channel I like to do product reviews and sometimes how to do's on anything that can help you and your family out. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and right next to that hit the notification bell so you get updates and video notifications. So the biggest difference between a car that was built 10 or 15 years ago like my own compared to my wife's car that was built two years ago is all the technology that's already built into it. You know, she has the backup camera, backup sensor, she has the automatic lift gate, tire pressure sensor. She even has a Bluetooth phone so she can talk hands-free as she's driving down the highway. But Nanda makes these great aftermarket products like the Zeus products that you can install into older cars and really bring that car up to the, the standards of today's technology. Most importantly, it can help keep your family safe as you're driving down the road because your tire pressure is going to be properly inflated. This product was sent to me by a company called Nanda who produces this awesome car um, technology product line called Zeus. But today we're only going to be looking at the smart tire safety monitor which was sent to me for free but this will be an honest review if you guys want to pick up this product check out the description below where you can see my affiliate links as it does help to support this channel with no additional cost to you let's go back to the studio and unbox it and see what comes with it all right guys let's take a quick look this is the zeus smart tire safety monitor you can boost your driving safety save on fuel and this is the first product that actually can detect slow leaks and as you open up you can see there is the in-car receiver that looks like a little baby matchbox car you will have to download the zeus app which is an amazing app it's actually an award-winning app i have it already i already have a zeus car lighter which um if you guys want to see that video over that video video is available check her out right up here um, and then you also get four tire sensors and on back it does mention you can install this in about 10 minutes and it does have a theft prevention little system which we'll take a look at so without further ado let's go ahead and open this bad boy up All right, this is the receiver, which plugs into a USB port. If you don't have a USB port in your car, like most older cars do not, you can definitely get one of those little car lighter adapters that has USB ports on it. What's really nice about this receiver, it does have a little pass-through USB, so you don't have to worry about taking up your only USB port, and you can still be able to charge your devices like your cell phone or other things. Um, what's also really cool about this particular port is that it's reversible so no matter which way you plug in your USB it is going to fit so even if you turn around so you don't have to fumble around in the car to see which way it goes and then on the bottom there was a little reset button there are a couple white lights right here that will show up as you plug this in which will show you the Bluetooth status and then there are four lights on the side indicating the four centers it'll be a solid green light if everything is normal or start flashing if something is abnormal and needs attention without going into your app all the time and let's see what else is in the box four little tire sensors and it tells you the front left front right but even if you get them mixed up you don't have to worry about it because on each one it does tell you which sensor it is and then right here in the middle you do have the installation kit um, this looks like an extra cover which we'll take off the cover in a minute and see what's in the inside here's your theft prevention wrench and here's some velcro tape so you can velcro this receiver onto a good spot in your car if you choose to and they do include five little theft prevention nuts, even though you'll only need four. One thing that I am wondering about is the battery life in the little valve stems. Let's quickly take a look inside one of the sensors, see what type of battery is. I want to tell you all about this day. What a the cold. Here we go. This is a 1632. And put the cover right back on. And if you do happen to lose one of these little covers, they do include an extra one, which is not labeled. 
I will be including a link down below to a pros and cons list, which goes to my website and I will update my website to let you know how the battery life is. The kit does include a theft prevention wrench. After you install the little sensors, I recommend you put this tool in your glove compartment. That way, when you have to inflate the tires in the future, you have this tool readily available and you don't have to fiddle around trying to get those things off. Um, which is not impossible to get off without the wrench, but it does make it um, a lot harder. All right guys, let's go ahead and download the app and go out to the car and install the device. You're gonna start getting some beeping and then you have to figure out where you wanna mount it. I'm thinking right about here, um, you can see the lights fairly well. We still have access to a USB port. Um, or my other place I was thinking in my car, your car is going to be different is up here. So I'm just going to take a little alcohol pad, get it nice, all nice and clean on both sides. Take off the backing, put it down here. Don't put it over the reset button. And then take off the backing of the other side. And then place it exactly where you want it. All right, got four green blinking lights. So let's go ahead and go into the app. And it is getting rid of my voltage because I'm also using the Nanda um, car connector. We're gonna go up here to the top right and hit add. And you can see the Zeus smart tire safety monitor shows up. We're gonna click pair receiver now. And it's doing some beeping. Shows you how to install it. All right, let's go ahead and install these sensors. This is super easy to do. Just take off the cover that's already on your valve stem, put it on your little theft prevention nut, and put it on pretty much the entire way. And then go ahead and get the sensor, make sure it's the correct sensor for that particular tire, and go ahead and screw it all the way onto the valve stem. And you might hear a low air go um, come out, which is fine. Just make sure it's really tight. And then you go ahead and reverse that nut with your hand. And once it gets tight against the actual sensor, go ahead and take the wrench and go ahead and do a reverse tightening, as, I, as you see here. Just, just take a little turn or two, and that will prevent it from coming off very easily. Let's go ahead and do the rest. Are we going to the beach? Good idea to put the wrench in the little insulation kit pouch, close it up, and then put it into your glove compartment. Let's go into the app. And then they show you how to find the recommended tire pressure for your car, which you can easily find in your driver's side door frame. You can choose which pressure unit you want. You want PSI or bar, temperature unit, Fahrenheit or Celsius. Then you have some pressure alarm thresholds. I'm not gonna play around with these, but if you did want to play around with them, you can hit custom and customize them. And then you also have a temperature alarm threshold. And then it says it is calibrating. They recommend that you drive over 15 miles per hour. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. take you to the home screen and as you can see um, I have two tires just about the same around 31 32 got another one at 27 which is a little bit low um, and then I have one with low pressure at 24.9 so this, this is just an example of how a normal everyday driver really doesn't know his tire pressure and this does affect gas mileage and your safety so we're definitely gonna have to fill that one up but that's it guys, that's all that's in the app unless you buy additional accessories like the car charger. Um, they also have a key finder which I'm going to be reviewing. They also have a monitor that you plug into the OBD port so you can monitor the health of your car. And they also sell a backup camera that's um, not quite sure how that works just yet but looks like a really cool product. 
Alright guys, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I hope I've earned your subscription. If I have, click this blue circle right there and please subscribe to my channel. I truly appreciate it. If you want to become a super subscriber, check out my Patreon page, which is the blue square right there. You can see the benefits of becoming a Patreon. Check out these other two videos right there and I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.